A couple of showers around Monday morning, and we should dry out Monday afternoon. Monday's a more humid day at a high 81. And then a hot steamy for Tuesday. Clouds and sunny afternoon thunderstorm up to 90. A little bit less humid uh, Wednesday, but it looks like the heat builds as we head toward the end of the week. Uh, we've got that uh, allergy alert forecast now, sponsored by EMT and Allergy Associates. Book your same-day appointment online today. Tomorrow's outlook is medium with grass, the predominant pollen. Right now, Central Park, 86 with sunshine, going down to 70 tonight in Midtown. Matt with our meteorologist, John Fear, from New York's weather station, 1010 with 87 degrees right now in both West Orange and Merrick, 86 in Bronxville. What's the news time, 533. I live alone and rarely have visitors. So when I slipped and fell in the kitchen last month and couldn't get to a phone, I knew I was in trouble. Help! I could barely move. Help! I tried calling for help, but no one could hear me. As I lay there, I couldn't help but think of my kids and grandkids having to go on without me. I was terrified. It took eight hours for my neighbor to find me. It could have been the end of me. That's when I knew I needed life alert. With just one press of this button, I'm connected to the Life Alert Center, where I can get the help I need, even when I cannot reach a phone. With Life Alert, I'm never alone. Call 1-800-244-8805 for your free Life Alert brochure. That's 1-800-244-8805. Again, 1-800-244-8805. Call for your free Life Alert brochure at 1-800-244-8805 today. Wednesday news time 534. Well, a major cruise line is loosening their COVID testing rules for those who are getting ready to sail. Carnival Cruise Lines announcing it will no longer require that vaccinated passengers test negative for COVID if they're on a cruise that is five days or less. If the cruise is longer than that, then pre-cruise testing can be done three days before departure and not right beforehand. And for unvaccinated passengers, it will no longer be in-terminal testing right before leaving. But unvaccinated passengers will have to show they tested negative on their own within three days of a cruise. Correspondent Alex Stone reporting those new rules begin next week. Well, tensions between the U.S. and China are now at their highest level in decades amid the possibility that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will make a stop on her upcoming trip to Asia to visit Taiwan, which is under increasing threat of invasion from China. Safety concerns for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi expected to travel overseas to Asia. We have global responsibilities. Uh, whether it comes to three things, I would say, security, economy, and governance. No travel specifics have been released, but the trip may include a controversial stop in Taiwan. This comes as Beijing warns it will take forceful measures should Pelosi visit. Tensions between the U.S. and China are on the rise as concerns of a Chinese invasion into Taiwan grow. Correspondent Lama Hassan reporting. Winter News Time. 5.35. Well, on today's episode of The Animals Have Had It With Us, and they are revolting, we head to Illinois, where four escaped emus are on the loose in Danville. Residents there are being warned to keep an eye out for the animals that made a break from their owner's property. Animal control officials said neighbors should contact them if they spot the flightless birds, and they should not try capturing them themselves because they could severely injure a person with their sharp claws. The owner of the animal says he thinks some kids may have cut its fence open, and which is how they may have gotten out. But escape is not enough. The emus need revenge. They were spotted chasing people in Danville Thursday evening. One went to hang out at a nearby mall yesterday morning. Well, Chris Cuomo is speaking out about his firing from CNN. He was a guest on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher last night. He was let go after it was revealed he advised his brother, then Governor Andrew Cuomo, and how to deal with sexual harassment allegations. Chris said he didn't like the way things ended at CNN, which is good for the people there, and that he wants to move on. He also talked about the difficult job the media has of partisan, is dealing with rather, partisan politics. My defense of the media, though, is this, even though it didn't end so well for me, uh, most recently, is this. You can't expect the men and women in the media to not play a game that everybody else is playing. Chris has recently launched his own podcast, The Chris Cuomo Project, and has a primetime show on the network News Nation, set to debut in the fall. Wednesday News Time 537, 1010 Wins Entertainment News, next. 
I'll second guess dinners for friends because they can be interrupted by diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or oily stools. It turns out I have EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which means I'm missing the enzymes needed to digest food. My doctor prescribed Creon's Pancrelipase, an oral prescription medication that replaces pancreatic digestive enzymes. Creon treats EPI due to cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, pancreatectomy, or other conditions. Creon may increase your chance of fibrosis and colonopathy, a rare bowel disorder. Tell your doctor if you have a history of intestinal blockage or scarring or thickening of your bowel wall. If you're allergic to pork or if you have gout, kidney problems, or worsening of painful swollen joints. Call your doctor if you have any unusual or severe gastrointestinal symptoms or allergic reactions. Take Creon as directed by your doctor and always with food. Do not chew capsules as this may cause mouth irritation. Other side effects may include blood sugar changes, gas, dizziness, sore throat, and cough. These are not all the side effects of Creon. Creon is the number one prescribed EPI treatment. Ask your doctor about Creon for EPI. And visit CreonInfo.com or call 800-633-9110 to learn more. That's C-R-E-O-N Info.com. Wind News Time 538, now 1010 Wins Entertainment News. Fellow Breaking Bad fans unite. A pair of new statues of actors Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston have been unveiled at the Albuquerque Convention Center yesterday. I'm just rather grateful that it's indoors and so the pigeons won't <laughs> The bronze likenesses of chemistry teacher turned meth lord Walter White holding his pork pie hat, no fly, and his associate former student, Jesse Pinkman, standing next to each other. The 500 pound statues were created by sculptor Trevor Grove and donated by Sony Pictures Television, which produced the AMC drama. A sour note for Bridgerton the musical. Netflix is now suing the people who came up with that. The adaptation debuted free on the stage version in real life. Charging people. Abigail Barlow and Emily Bear, the Grammy winning team behind the project, have now been hit with a lawsuit over intellectual property rights. Entertainment news at 38 past each and every hour right here on 1010. When's the news time? 539. Attention. Do you owe back taxes, fines, and penalties to the IRS? The IRS now offers new relief options for taxpayers affected by COVID-19. But you can't go it alone. Call Tax Solutions now. Our team of former IRS agents and tax professionals can get you the best deal. We know the COVID-19 rules. Call us and never speak to the IRS again. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions now and a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. The virus has caused the IRS to take extensive action to help taxpayers. So if you owe $10,000 or more, this is the best time in years to settle your tax debt. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. Remember, the IRS will not give up until you pay. Call 800-521-4177. 800-521-4177. 800-521-4177. AccuWeather is the most trusted name in forecasting, and you can only get it on one radio station. Trent and Wayne. The news watch never stops. This is 1010 Wins. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good afternoon, 86 degrees, 540 on your Saturday, July 30th. I am Stephanie Officer. Here's what's happening. President Biden has tested positive again for COVID-19. We've got a winner of the Golden Mega Ball ticket, and it probably wasn't you because you were not in Illinois. The search is on for a new chief judge for New York State. A Brooklyn staple is celebrating National Cheesecake Day with Chief Eats and the Nassau is Back show. A free concert starring rock and roll Hall of Fame artist Joan Jett and the Black Heart takes place tonight. In sports, Kansas City falls to the Yankees 2-8. Two, two, Met at Miami 6 86 degrees, partly sunny, going down to 70 in Midtown. It's news time, 541, traffic and transit on the one. Take it away, Russ Meyer. Well, do let's check in on the Bronx thoroughfares, and we have got slow going on the uh, Brockner northbound side. It's going to be tied up to getting, uh, well, pretty much right off the RFK Bridge, all the way up to Sheridan Boulevard. And uh, we also have southbound set down to Bronx River Avenue down to the Hunts Point Drawbridge. Tough going on the Cross Bronx from Westchester Avenue all the way out to Deegan, and also on the eastbound side from the Deegan out to 3rd Avenue. The Deegan tough drive now from uh, 138th Street up towards the Cross Bronx. Southbound delays approaching the Cross Bronx as well. New Jersey uh, looking at the drive on the northbound side of uh, Palisades Parkway, just north of the GWB, looking at the word of an accident, so uh, be careful. I expect to lay him. I'm going to go with 9W instead. 
Chesson and Queen. Got the eastbound lanes of the LIE tied up at 188th Street. A lot lane crash has been out there for a while now. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Earlier slowdowns at the Brooklyn down Verrazano have cleared. Uh, traffic at the Bayonne Bridge is looking good over at the Outer Bridge Crossing. Some delays on 440 approaching the Staten Island downside. And it's going to be a mess at the uh, Gothels Bridge coming off the turnpike across the span of the Gothels Bridge onto the Staten Island Expressway. And uh, this report is sponsored by Jackpocket. Jackpocket lets you play official state lottery games on your phone. Use code RADIO for a free Mega Millions or Powerball. Ticket must be 18 or older to play. If you were someone you know with a gambling problem, then want to call one 877 Please visit jackpocket.com slash TOS for full terms of service. I'm Russ Fire next to 451. All dead dead wins. Well, President Biden has tested positive again for COVID-19. In a statement this hour, the doctor treating President Biden saying that the president has again tested positive for COVID-19 after four days of testing negative. Dr. Kevin O'Connor said this is a rebound case after being treated with Paxlovid. O'Connor says Biden is currently experiencing no symptoms and continues to feel quite well. Correspondent Dave Packer reporting. Well, we have a winner or winners. One single winning lottery ticket was sold for the $1.33 billion, staggering mega billions jackpot. According to the Mega Millions Lottery, that winning ticket was bought in Illinois. The numbers were 13, 36, 45, 57, 67, and the Mega Ball 14. The jackpot was the nation's third largest lottery prize and the second largest Mega Millions prize. It grew so big because no one had matched the numbers since April. In addition to the top prize, six tickets were sold that matched the second prize of $2 million each. I'm Julie Walker. And we may very well never know who won that jackpot because Illinois' law allows for a winner of anything over $250,000 to remain anonymous. When it's time, 544 in New York is in a hurry to replace outgoing Chief Judge Janet DeFiori. She announced her plans to re uh, resign on July 10th amid an ongoing ethics probe. The panel that has to come up with possible candidates has 120 days to get names to Governor Hochul, so they posted a wanted ad. Candidates must live in New York and have practiced law for at least a decade. Those are the bare minimum requirements. They'll also have to write and essay a ton of questions and open themselves up to some intense scrutiny. Hochul said she wants someone thoughtful and well-regarded in the legal community. That application deadline is August 29th. This news time, 5.45. If you're a homeowner and you're making high interest payments to the credit card companies every month, we have one question for you. Why? Why would you pay 16%, 20% on a credit card when in maybe two weeks, Equity Now can close a debt consolidation mortgage for you and make all that crazy interest credit card debt go away. Paid. Zero. Gone. Equity Now's mortgage refinance rates are among the lowest in the country. So refinance with Equity Now and you can cut your total monthly payments hundreds, even thousands of dollars. One new payment, hundreds, maybe thousands in savings. Hey, if credit card debt is crushing you, call us. Apply for free. Get a quote. Call 800-885-LEND. 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 Equity Now. Helping homeowners since 1984. 174 East Boston Road, Maranek, New York. NMLS number 1564. Licensed Mortgage Banker, New York State Department of Financial Services. Licensed Mortgage Lender, Connecticut. Licensed by New Jersey Department of Banking and Insurance. Equal housing lender. Restrictions and criteria apply. Wind News Time 546. Well, in case you didn't know, today is National Cheesecake Day to help celebrate Junior's is driving around the city offering up $5 slices of its famous cheesecake. Remember, so famous that Diddy made the band walk across the Brooklyn Bridge to get it? Yeah, early 2000s. Now, throughout the weekend, the Chuck's Live location can also be found on Junior's social media pages. And tomorrow, it'll be in Coney Island on Surf Avenue. Speaking of cake, to celebrate the 125th birthday of the Brooklyn Public Library, they're turning their bookmobile into a cake mobile. Tenton Wins spoke with their spokeswoman, Fritzi Bodenheimer. Wigman's has donated to us 2,000 cupcakes, so we'll give them out until they're all gone. Uh, they are all individually wrapped for safety, and I've heard that they are delicious. I mean, <laughs> then they're free, so that's kind of like the best tasting price. But to get one, you have to show your library card. There will be stops at Herbert Von King Park, Seth Low Playground, and Hillel Plaza on Slappish Junction while supplies last. 
Like the news time 547. Well, some two dozen dogs that were living in deplorable conditions on Staten Island have been rescued. ASPCA officers raided a fence in lot in Tompkinsville yesterday as part of an animal cruelty investigation. They found 16 adult huskies and eight puppies. Some were malnourished, abused. One puppy was dead. None had access to clean water. There were buckets filled with maggots. The dogs were caked in filth. Ugh. However, investigators say even in those conditions, the dogs were still friendly and happily greeted the officers. One man was taken into custody. No word yet on whether any charges were filed. The dogs are now getting checked out by vets and are in the care of the ASPCA.